the ability for me to be in here cooking and doing what I like to do and Stuart cooking out in the outdoor entertainment area with the pizza oven and the barbecue. That works really well. There's no more fighting over territory or turf. And it's a great place people will mingle in between the two. So we can keep doing what we like to do. The house is located in a quiet residential street in Northcote. The street itself is lined with lots of similar heritage weatherboard dwellings and it's quite a leafy street filled with great neighbours. So there was plenty to love about the existing house. We both really appreciated the charm of the heritage details. So the arches in the hallway, the ceiling roses, the cornices, all of those things that made it such a cosy and beautiful home. But the downside to that, like any old house, is that it was quite leaky and drafty and just didn't perform very well thermally. The house, whilst it was quite generous in its footprint, it just wasn't working from a functional perspective. We had a couple of really big rooms, but they were in the wrong places. So the bathroom was huge and took up a lot of space, but didn't really give a lot. A big formal dining area that we didn't really use. When we were entertaining, the kitchen felt very small. It didn't have a good connection to the outside. And it was a bit of a, what I'd call an 80s Bunnings renovation. So lots of colour, you know, not modern. It didn't feel like us. We all love to cook. In fact, our girls love cooking as well now. And we had a pizza oven in the backyard previously, and we really wanted something that, you know, he could do his pizza nights and I could do baking, so I wanted a big double oven and lots of storage. Something that flowed that we could have people over and it wasn't an effort. And I think we've really achieved that. Friday nights now are pizza night. The house is a double-fronted Edwardian cottage, so you enter in the central hallway space. Given the front bedrooms were quite generous in their size, we carved out some of this space to form a bench seat, a space where upon entry feels more generous than walking into your typical hallway space. All three bedrooms were retained and lightly touched only. Then we've added a new bathroom and laundry space in what was once the formal dining area. So we really reworked the plan to provide more functional space. Down the hallway, there is also a study and flexi room, which during lockdowns became Penny's home office. There's also a second bathroom with a separate toilet, which really works hard to function well. At the end of the hallway, you reach this timber clad portal, which has bluestone tiles on the floor. And this distinguishes the old part of the house to the new kitchen, living and dining area. This space is open plan and it feels a lot more contemporary. So we've stripped back all of the heritage details and instead created a space with vaulted ceilings that really brings in volume and light. When we were looking at cost and Breed said this is something that would increase the cost, it was something we weren't going to compromise on and I love how it flows out. The kitchen itself is open plan and there's a great big island bench that allows you to all be in the kitchen at once. In the living space there is wall-to-wall -wall joinery, combination of open shelves and drawers and sliding screens. The open plan kitchen and dining space opens out onto an outdoor dining area where the pizza oven is front and centre. Then bookending that space is the double height shed or workshop. So like with any project at Breathe, materials are selected with sustainability and embodied energy in mind. 
Externally, the house draws inspiration from the existing weatherboard cottage that was on the site. We retained a lot of the weatherboards and then patched them where necessary. Additional elements added were the recycled timber pergola, the timber decking and the recycled bricks which form the paving and also the pizza oven. Internally we have recycled Australian hardwood floorboards in the living areas. We have in situ concrete bench tops to the kitchen and bathrooms which contain recycled content. The joinery is both FSC certified form ply and FSC certified black hole black part veneer. And we have a locally sourced bamstone bluestone tiles in both of the bathrooms and laundry as well as the portal. When Emily talked to us about what we were going to use internally, I think one of the things that excited me the most was the bluestone because I grew up in Port Ferry, the home of Bamstone, and so using bluestone in the house was just a really nice connection to where I grew up. Fireside House is 100% electric in operations and the clients are connected to 100% green power. An electric heat pump services the hot water. There's induction cooking, electric air conditioning, which provides heating and cooling. And there's a 9.6 kilowatt solar PV system on the roof. An interesting story about the induction. One of the things we did want to keep was the gas, but once we understood more about the impact that has on the environment, I think the really interesting thing was we were reluctant to go for induction initially, but after having it, it's actually quicker than gas. There's no fumes in the house. The more I read about the impact with asthma and things like that, my oldest daughter has asthma, we certainly don't have those issues in the house anymore. So it performs really well when I'm cooking. I haven't had one thing that I haven't been able to cook through having induction. So I think that was a really good win for us in the end. It made me feel much better about the environment. All the windows have been replaced with high-performing double-glazed timber windows. The house adopted a build less, give more approach where we kept the existing footprint and only extended out by 500 mil. The house for us is just such a quiet place. It's a real haven. I think previously being a colourful 80s renovation, it was a little bit noisy. This is just clean and quiet you feel like you're not in the middle of a inner city suburb. Fireside House is successful in marrying two of the client's key aspirations for the project. A food lover's kitchen that is the heart of the house and a desire to live more sustainably. The result is an open plan and considered kitchen living and dining area that is 100% electric in operations.